Hello Aquarius, this is your X rating for the 17th through the 23rd. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what kind of relationship you guys had before. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. I think that it was one that, you know, it needed a lot of work, actually. Um, it was on and off again. Not very stable. Not very stable at all. Um, Scorpio energy here. It needed a lot of work. Um, it wasn't built on um, on solid things, on strong on a strong foundation. You know, very rocky. Let's see how you guys view the relationship. Hmm. I think you never really knew like what to expect. Um, so a lot of times you just kind of went in your separate corner and allowed things to kind of just, you know, cool off a little bit. Let's see how they reviewed the relationship. It feels like it was everything that they needed, but I think it was a little selfishness involved on their part. Um, it made them happy, regardless if it made you happy is what it seems like. Hmm. Let's see what your current situation is. Hmm. I think you are... I think you, either this is you wanting to like step out on faith with someone new, step out on faith away from this relationship, or you are going towards somebody who, you know, you keep going back to this person and you kind of feel like they're a little foolish, they take chances, um, they're not really stable even. Aries energy. All right, let's see what their current situation is. Maybe you're at one of these points where you guys are trying to work things out, even, okay? Their current situation is the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this person's trying to work on themselves here. Um, they're, they also work a lot, like on their job, but um, I think, you know, there's certain things that. This person realizes, you know, maybe they need to, to fix or address within themselves, okay? Let's see how you view your ex. Wow. Aries energy, for sure here. Hmm. I think, you know, what it feels like is that your ex is really all about commitment and you know they just kind of want to like hop into a commitment without actually doing the work is what I'm thinking here this is what I'm getting and you just kind of want to take things slowly but they just want to jump right into it Ooh, like my camera's kind of skipped there I just caught it but, um, yeah, they like commitment, um, but I don't know if, if they are like a selfish or you consider them a selfish person and just want what they want. Hmm. Let's see. Instead of building up to that point, but let's see how your ex views you. I think they think you worry too much. I think that they feel like um, they feel like maybe you have betrayed them before, that you've hurt them, that you've kind of stabbed them in the back. Um, yeah. They, they also feel like you're kind of all in your head is what I'm thinking. Like you spend way too much time thinking about things and not just living in the moment. 
here. I think that's what you're trying to do as well as live more in the moment. And they're working on themselves, trying to be a little, you know, more grounded, you know. <clears throat> Let's see what your feelings are about getting back together. I think you're definitely thinking about it. I think that, um, you know, committing to this person is something that you are considering. I think there is a very strong attraction to this person. Um, maybe it's just a little too flighty for you. Here. Because the death with this tower is like, you know, something needs to change here. There's not any stability. Mm -mm, not at all. Let's see what your ex feels about or how your ex feels about getting back together. I think they are all for it. I think they are wanting to probably slow it down a little bit like you may have suggested before. Let's, you know, try being friends first and foremost. Let's, you know, kind of ease into this thing instead of jumping into it with both feet. I think you guys are trying to like compromise here between the Fool and the Eight of Pentacles. It's like you're trying to like meet in the middle, I feel. <clears throat> My dog's in there. You're looking at me while I'm talking. Let's see how you guys can help this situation along. Mm. I think you can definitely let them know that you love them for sure. Let them know that, you know, you do have genuine feelings for them. Okay. Because I feel like they don't think that you do. I think there's a need for you to definitely offer them, you know, your love. Because if this is a relationship that you feel like, you know, you want to try to pursue, all this person needs is that 10th cup to feel like they have it all. And I think, you know, just the the lack of emotion that they're feeling coming from you, the lack of stability, the fact that you guys probably have not put a label on it even. Um, I'm not sure if that's the case, but, you know, if you guys are not like 100% in or haven't stated that, I think, you know, that is what they're waiting to hear even here. Okay, let's see what they can do. Yeah, I think they can stop with the conflict. They can stop with the conflict. They can stop with the overthinking. Um, I think they come across a little bit unstable to you at times. Um, you know, they probably think things that are not really happening. Um, maybe over exaggerate some things and then you know, then you guys have conflict between each other. And it's like, then you're not, you're less willing to like offer this cup because it's like, you know what? I just, I just can't, you know, at some point. So I, I think, but they are really trying to, I think, address whatever issues that they have truly here, because I do feel like they want to be with you for sure. I definitely feel like that. Mm -hmm. But I think there's a level of selfishness with this person. They're kind of used to getting their way, I feel. Let's see what the potential outcome is for you guys. Hmm. I think you will follow your heart. I think your heart is telling you to offer that cup. Offer your love. <laughs> I really feel like that. I feel like you care about this person. I think they're just, you know, a bit extra for you sometimes. Let's see what the outcome is for them. Yeah. I think they will find the strength within them. I think they will seek those answers to resolve not only this inner conflict, but whatever conflict that you guys are or have been through, whatever issues are right here that you have been discussing I think they are um, they are fighting that 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 urge to like pick an argument about you know some minute detail or something like that um, so I definitely see that there is um, potential here for you guys to reunite most definitely 
okay so yeah I did see the Knight of Pentacles under there. It's going, it's going to be like a slow process. And I think it should be slow because I think it's been a little too fast, a little too hasty um, up until now because it's like, it's kind of rocky, okay? Some things need to be addressed here. And I think that, um, I think that your person, Aquarius, is working on that. I will speak with you guys soon. Bye now.